You don't have the muscle of the White House behind you anymore. You're just a private citizen who is, by the way, annoying. He's a decorated war hero. He's a patriot. You realize the blowback you'll get for rushing to judgment on a patriot? The blowback you'll create? Well, yeah. That's my job. Do you actually have the naive belief that waking me in the middle of the night and threatening me is the correct path to getting your way? I wasn't threatening you. He didn't kill her. My gut says he didn't. Your spidey senses aren't evidence. I've been on the phone with Homicide. He killed her and ran. I can have a reporter out here in 20 minutes with cameras asking why you're persecuting an innocent handicap Medal of Honor winner. Perhaps because he's a well-known conservative Republican and you are considering a bid on the Democratic ticket next year. Just to be clear, that was me threatening you. Um, well, you know, the show is the new brainchild from Shonda Rhimes, you know, who, of course, is the genius executive producer writer behind Grey's Anatomy and Private Practice. And this is her new baby scandal. And I play Olivia Pope, who is at the center of Pope and Associates. And Pope and Associates is a crisis management firm. So that means that, for example, you know, God forbid, if you had a crisis that you felt like you didn't want the media to find out about, you couldn't take it to the police, you didn't want it to ever hit the justice system, the court system, if you felt like you had nowhere to turn, nowhere to go because the problem was unfixable, you could come to Pope and Associates and we would help you. We would solve the crisis is in exactly four hours and 15 minutes, both of your names are going to suddenly pop up on Homeland Security's no-fly list. Buggy for you, you're booked on a flight that leaves in two and a half hours. So, if it were me, I'd much rather spend $3 million in Kiev than here in Georgetown. Way more bang for your buck. In fact, it may even feel like six once you're there. The show is actually inspired by a real-life crisis manager, a woman named Judy Smith, who lives and works in Washington. Um, she's one of the best in the game. She's worked with everybody from Monica Lewinsky to Michael Vick. So she's a very hands-on producer, and she's been very generous with information, not about any particular clients. She's very private about clients, obviously, but she's really helped all of us, and me especially. I've really relied on her to help me understand how the mind of a crisis manager works and you know what it feels like to live and work in this high stakes environment and judy smith actually used to work at the white house but i always say that that the show is inspired by judy but not based on judy i won't be gone long you're going to camp david to meet with the president why meeting at the white house is too official press is there he wants you to take your old job back doesn't he he's wooing you it's not wooing me we're friends you and i are friends he's the leader of the free world your life makes me feel unsuccessful.